important news coming in at this point in time where the Congress leader Jairam Ramesh tweeted and I quote, on this Gandhi Jayanti, let us stand with those uh, Gandhian organizations in different parts of the country, especially Varanasi, Ahmedabad and New Delhi, which are under siege and assault by the forces who not only fought the Mahatma all his life, but played a key role in creating a climate that led to his assassination. Let us pledge to fight those elements who glorify the ideas and actions of Godse. This Gandhi Jayanti, let us recall that Mahatma practiced complete transparency and openness, lacked any revengeful feelings for his opponents, insisted on shedding bigotry, prejudice and hatred, and never misused religion to inflame people's passions. Vengeance and showmanship was alien to this character, unquote. Well, that is a loaded statement that Jairam Ramesh, a senior Congress leader, has put out on the occasion of Mahatma Gandhi's 154th birth anniversary. My colleague Mohit is joining me on the phone line to get us more details. Well, Mohit, it's a, a no-holds-barred attack by Jairam Ramesh in a very latent manner. He's using this opportunity to hit out at the government. Uh, has there been any reaction on Jairam Ramesh's tweet from the BJP so far? Well, you see, it seems that a legacy war has... Uh, broken out between the Congress party and the BJP when it comes to Mahatma Gandhi's ideologies and the principles. Now, today is the day when uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also went to Rajwad in the morning. He also tweeted about Mahatma Gandhi saying that we need to follow his principles and his ideas, his, his treatings are not just for some uh, some uh, individuals, but they are for the mankind. Now, we see senior Congress leader Jairam Ramesh has tweeted and he has basically attacked uh, the current government in this particular tweet saying that on this Gandhi Jayanti, let us stand with those Gandhian organizations in different parts of the country, especially Varanasi, Ahmedabad, and New Delhi, which are under siege and assaulted by the forces who not only fought the Mahatma all his life, but played a key, uh, key role in creating a climate that led to his assassination. It's a very, very strong attack that has come in on the day when the whole nation is celebrating uh, and offering their, uh, their tributes to Mahatma Gandhi on his birth anniversary. So far, no reaction has come from the BJP, but surely BJP will attack the Congress party. Earlier also, we have seen that how Congress party has been saying this, that uh, what uh, the government and the leaders of BJP preach about Mahatma Gandhi, they do not practice in the real life. And that is why we see earlier also such legacy wars have broken out, have broken out between the Congress party and the BJP with this very strong tweet uh, coming in from Jairam Ramesh in which he has clearly criticized the current government and how exactly they have used the ideas and the symbols of Mahatma Gandhi to showcase to the world that we follow Gandhi, but they do not practice that in real life. She will garner strong reactions from the BJP and will... Uh, we'll, uh, we'll surely update that what exactly BJP will have to say on this particular tweet by Jairam Ramesh in which he has attacked the current dispensation saying that they preach about Mahatma Gandhi right. but they do not follow that in real life. Absolutely, Mohita. Thank you for getting us all those.